one of the most wonderful things about 1964 Mississippi summer were the Freedom Schools. The state of Mississippi deliberately and systematically kept black people uneducated and ignorant and then turned around and made education a requirement in order to participate in the political process. We were able to do the Freedom Schools in the summer of 1964 because we had almost a thousand students coming to the state of Mississippi, thus the human resources to actually, you know, conduct classes. We hope to find and develop and mold local leadership among the young people. We also hope to promote a better self-image among the local Negroes. We would send out mass uh, flyers and, and everything to the churches, uh, telling people about the Freedom School, what the Freedom School was going to entail, uh, the courses, uh, the activities. We got the preachers involved, we got the kids involved. Black people couldn't go to the library. It was for whites only. And so here they are, got their own library now. They would come excited to be exposed to the teaching and to browse the books. In the public schools where I was in school, I had never heard of Dr. Seuss. It was at Freedom School where we actually not only read the story of the cat in the hat, but we acted it out. Having our lives enriched by these activities really made a huge difference in my life. We taught um, African American history, civics, African culture, African dance. They were learning uh, black history, that they were reading books that had been written by blacks that they'd never heard of. How were slaves first introduced in America? As we saw back on this world map over here, America started picking up slaves along here and then bringing them back. What we were trying to do that summer is get people to talk about their own lives, talk about good and bad, and talk about ways in which you could bring about change. I think that was very much the drive of the, the program. They had a sense of being needed by something much bigger than themselves and a sense of being able to handle the problems that they were needed for. They did it by by asking questions and by being encouraged to feel free to ask questions. They were raring to go. We were just kind of like the catalyst. We were agents of information and agents of a different world. So I mean, just the very fact that we were talking about a world that they didn't know or didn't have much experience with was exciting to them and also to us. We set them up uh, for the little children to come and every day we'd have classrooms of adults, people uh, 50, 60, and 70 years of age. The adults came to the Freedom School to learn, just like the little children. 